Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. Kaka, <laughs> some things uh, is what we call uh, the obvious. Hmm? Some things are obvious. Obvious, I mean this. In Kenya, public servants are undergoing a tough economic crisis. It's all of us Kenyans going through that, but I sympathize with public servants. You can wake up tomorrow in the morning, upate umekatwa tax. Yenye haujui imeenda wapi? Pay slip yako imekatwa tax. Na imeandikwa tu hapo. You don't know inaenda wapi, you don't know inaenda kufanya nini, lakini umekatwa. There's nothing you can do about it. Public servants have been demoralized. Some who used to drive have now packed their vehicles. You can imagine. Some who rented big houses have downscaled due to tough economic times. Those who had children in expensive schools have transferred their children to affordable schools. Why? Tough economic times. I know each and every Kenyan is undergoing this. But allow me specifically to talk about public servants. There's a reason why. If you are a public servant, you can correct me in the comment section or agree with me. Mambo ni mazito. Paislip inakuja kwa mwezi unaiangalia you feel like fainting. Unaangalia paislip you feel like collapsing. Kwa nini? Pesa yote imeenda and cha heaven and says heaven's to health spirit or what is to yani umekatwa tax mara kumi. housing i don't know what. Ukiangalia mshahara unapata na pesa inaenda kwa tax you feel like collapsing. Hata watu walikuwa wanaenda ofisi kwa masuti. Siku hizi wanafaa sivyo nini? Why? They cannot afford that life. Kama ulikuwa unaendesha gari, you can agree with me. Some of you have parked their cars at home and in yards. Some have even sold their cars. They are using matatu. Maisha ngumu. Now. Today Koske is addressing the obvious. <clears throat> Koske is addressing the expected. In his address today, Koske is raising concerns. One, there is poor time management in public offices. Watu hawakuji mapema vile walikuwa wanakuja kufisi. People are not keeping time in office. Number two, Koske is saying that civil servants are no longer dressing well. Dress code has gone down. That is Koske speaking. Koske says Civil servants don't have the motivation of working. That is true. I entirely agree with him. Now, can we listen to what Koske said? And I want you to take your time. Listen to him very carefully. The work culture in the public service, especially, has deteriorated to unacceptable levels, and it is. There is no secret in that. Adherence to working hours, dress code, official language, codes of conduct, and norms and standards is extremely poor. So human resource professionals must maintain these standards without fail and ensure that the service, even where agile, is respectable and honorable. Let us not drop our guard you need to know that as a human resource officer, 
or director or manager. All the officers, all the employees are looking up to you to see how you act, how you behave, how you deal with matters. We need again to look at what we call maladministration in areas like promotions, deployments, designations, and staff development because it is rife within departments. As you, are, as you know, and I'm also aware, that even in institutions that you come from, we have what we call career trainees. Somebody moving from one training to another one. He's changing his clothes at the airport, moving to Geneva. <laughs> He's in Canada. The next day, he's going to South Africa. When he arrives home, he's rushing to Mombasa. A career trainee <laughs> who attend every training, seminar, or conference. <laughs> they even repeat, they even go to those that have already been undertaken. <laughs> then you ask yourself, this officer is, well, what is he doing? What Do we really need that position in that institution? And when it comes to drawing a CV, you will say he's 15 years experienced. And yet, in those 15 years, he has really worked for two years. The other 13 has been moving around in seminars, conferences. Ladies and gentlemen, umesikia vila mesema. And I want to highlight a few points here before I close this video. In my previous video, I explained to you how Kenya is making losses in billions in revenue collection. Businesses have died, people are closing down, and revenue collection is going down despite increasing taxes. Today, Koske is saying public servants have been demoralized. They no longer have the energy they used to have. They no longer have the passion they used to have. They no longer decently dress. Now let me ask you. Iyo suti unataka wavae. Wanatoa wapi na mshara mumekata mumemaliza. Morali ya civil servants. Munataka watoa wapi na mshara mumemaliza. I'm asking you Koske. You raise the issues. Let is, let's face them head on. Unasema civil servants nowadays wanachelewa kazi. Mumeongeza bei ya mafuta. Magari waliokuwa wakiendesha hayapo tena. What do you expect? Ukipanda matatu kutoka Rongai kufika city center ni 3 hours. Lakini with a personal car uamuke 5 in the morning or 4 in the morning before jam ingie Unafika Nairobi in 20 minutes from Rongai. And by the way, majority of public servants walikuwa wanamukia kazi asumui na mapema self-driving to avoid jam. Now that they are unable to fund their cars, they are packed them, they are using matato. Hence the delay. It is... Koske doesn't need rocket science to understand these issues. It's self-explanatory. Kama unataka kwafanya kazi wakuje kazi mapema. Wapatie working, favorable working environment. Ukitaka public servants wavai vizuri. Wapatie enough income. Ukitaka civil servants wakue motivated. Encourage them 
do not kill their pay slips. Sai public servants wanalia. Unaangalia pay slip you feel ana heart attack. Honestly speaking. I'm speaking on behalf of the maaskari wamenyanyaswa for some time. Mulidanganya mutaongezwa mushahara, mukaongezwa 1000, wakaanza kukata 1000. Hao ni mapolisi. Halafu mnasema we have salvaged the Kenya's economy. Economy ya Kenya inaendelea. We ladies and gentlemen, until when we are going to suffer, it is us Kenyans to stand up and make the right decision now. Mulifukuza Raila, sahii amenyamaza. Mulicheka Raila, sahii amenyamaza. Sasa ni nyinyi na serikali. Mwaliambiwa kujeni maandamano tuangamize uongozi mbaya, mukakataa. Mukasema Raila ni wazimu, Raila ni mzee, Raila ajui kile anafanya. Now who is crying the loudest? Be very genuine. I want to see comments. Be very genuine to yourself and tell us Why are you not going to work early as you used to go? I'm asking civil servants. Wewe comment up with a civil servant. Utwa ni kwa nini hauendi kazi mapema as pakoski? Ni kwa nini hauvai vizuri tena as pakoski? Hata pesa ya kunua sabuni nimekuwa ngumu. People are surviving by the mercies of God. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, the government complains of the obvious. Na wanajidunga mkuki wao wenyewe. When Kosgi proudly stands and tell us oh wafanyakazi kisi wanachelewa oh they know wao ndio wamekosea. You should direct to value your civil servants. Value them. Guard them. Protect them. Pay them well and you will see results. You are complaining of poor performance in government offices because you are paying them poorly. Poor input, poor output. That is it. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nissan.